Hello, welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda. I am catching up on tags and today I'm doing the Spring Into Adventure tag, which was created by Randy Ray, the literate Texan. We all love Randy Ray. And then I was tagged by Becca at Read Becca. So <laughs> I was trying to think of my answers for these and sometimes I was like, just could not think of anything. And then like the most obvious answer popped into my head, but let's go. So what is your favorite adventure book? I had like five choices and then again, boom. Now, some people would not call this an adventure book, but I do. And it is Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. This is about when John Steinbeck and his dog traveled the United States. They went on an adventure, so that's an adventure book. I love this book. I especially love it on audio. It's narrated by Gary Sinise. Sometimes I'll just put it on to go to sleep too. It's just a beautiful kind of talk about, um, so this was in the 50s, um, you know, the people that he meets on his way and what he observes about American society. It is, however, one of those books where you kind of go like, well, not much has changed, huh? But I love road trips and this is like the ultimate road trip book. So there you go. Question two, what is the newest or most recently published adventure novel you've read? That is an easy one. That was probably the easiest one of the whole thing for me. And that is The Wager by David Gran. Um, when we had to do our, un <laughs> our, our unplanned road trip from Arizona to Oregon, thank you COVID, um, I, I need something playing in the car or I get nervous and I needed something that my husband could tolerate or he would turn it off and that would be bad. <clears throat> and I didn't want my son talking all the way through it. So I did something that would interest him. And um, my, da my daughter had her own headphones, so I didn't worry about her. But I picked The uh, the Wager by David Grann, which is um, about a shipwreck, basically. And so there's a shipwreck. And then some survivors come back. They make their way back to England because it's from England. And they say, there's been a mutiny. Oh, this horrible things happen. And everyone kind of buys it. And then like six years later, other people come and they're like, oh, there was a mutiny and those people did it. So it, it's actually a really interesting book. Now, some people have said it was boring. I will say I might not have found it so exciting had I not listened to it because the audio na uh, narration by Dion Graham is fantastic for this book. Okay, number three, what is the oldest earliest published adventure book you've read? So, um, I have done here The Count of Monte Cristo, but then I remembered I read The Odyssey like four times in high school. I don't know what it was about that book, but I think I had to read it. I could only have read it three times because they did not read it in American Lit, but I read it freshman year, sophomore year, and senior year. <laughs> so yeah, The Odyssey. It's old. It's an, I mean, that's a, that's another one of those ultimate adventure novels. I do have the audiobook of the Emily Wilson recording of both that and the Iliad. So that's another road trip possibility if I can get my daughter to take her headphones off because she's the one who'd want to listen to that. But yeah, I would say the Odyssey. I know some people have um, said the tale of Gilgamesh and I tip my hat to y'all because that's older than I was going to go. <laughs> Question four. <clears throat> um, who's your favorite adventure book author? Okay, so bear with me on this one. William Kent Kruger. Now, some people are like, Really, is that the guy who writes like the languid historical mysteries? Yes, but also, also he writes the Cork O'Connor series. And the Cork O'Connor series is definitely more thrillery. Um, they become more literary, literary as they go on, but it's definitely more thrill. And there's always like fun adventure stuff. And I would argue that at least one of his standalone novels would qualify as an adventure book. And that is This Tender Land. So I love William Kent Kruger and um, I will try to find a way to work him into any tag answer that I can. <laughs> so I'm gonna say William Kent Kruger. He has a new Cork O'Connor book coming out in August. I'm very excited. Okay, right. what's your favorite film adaptation of an adventure book? So this is one I agonized over this question. I was looking up lists of adventure, adventure uh, movies, anything that would call my mind. And then I remembered my all time favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Now, to be fair, I, I don't like the book, The Wizard of Oz. It's boring. It is a boring book, but it's a great movie. So, you know, it's one of those rare cases where the movie is better than the book and it's a great adventure. So, The Wizard of Oz. And again, a little tidbit about me. When I got married, I walked down the aisle to Over the Rainbow. Okay, number seven. <laughs> Who's your favorite adventure book character? Again, bear with me. Luna Lovegood. You know, the Harry Potter books, 
great adventure books. There's great characters in it. Everyone's Hermione. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be Harry. I'm all these other characters. I I like her. I like Luna. I've always related to the weird girl. So Luna, and the fact that she like Cor she's just totally unfazed by everything. She handles everything. She takes it. She's like yes, Hermione is incredibly smart, but Luna is incredibly brave. So mine's Luna Lovegood. Okay. Number seven, do you prefer fiction or nonfiction adventure books? Actually, I prefer nonfiction adventure books. Um, I like them both. I enjoy them both. But I am much more taken, I don't want to say taken by, I am much more wowed by the adventure aspect in a nonfiction book that this all really happened. Whereas with a fiction book, I just take it as part of the book. So definitely nonfiction. Okay. Do you consider yourself adventurous? Why or why not? Not really. I mean, yes, I, I relate to Luna Lovegood, but I also like to just stay at home and read. And <laughs> I can be a little bit adventurous, um, but, you know, it's not. May, maybe when I was younger, I was a little bit more adventurous. But, you know, I'm at the age now where I'm, I'm fine. I don't, yeah, I don't need to go skydiving. I don't need to go climb a mountain. I don't need to go do any of those things. I'm fine. It's good. I'll just read about it. Um, number nine. What's your favorite genre to combine with the adventure genre? This should not be a surprise, given if you know what I read and also one of my previous answers, and that would be mystery. I think mystery works really well with adventure because they're both exciting in a way. There's both an element of the unknown. Um, now, I'm not going to say it's the best to the best genre to mix. It's just the one that I prefer. Um, you know, if I'm going to if I'm going to read an adventure novel, I'm going to read it in a genre that I find very comfortable and familiar, which is mystery. I'm probably not going to read high fantasy, which is something that I struggle with or science fiction. Something that's harder for me. Um, if I read something that's mystery, I can appreciate the adventure more. Okay. Number 10, do you play or have you ever played adventure themed games like video games, board games, tabletop, RPGs, etc.? Well, I'm not a big video game player. Um, my family is. I am not, which is fine. They can go play their game and I'll read. Um, I have one time done D&D. &D. My son created what he called a one shot quest and he made us play it. That's my one time ever playing D&D. &D. Um, and a 13 year old boy created it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> It was fun. It was a fun family thing to do. But uh, I think when it comes to games, I'm much more into strategy. Yeah, because I can get my adventure in books. So there you go. That was a quick and easy. Well, it's a quick and easy video. But let me tell you, I sweated over some of these answers. Not, I mean, I did not need to, but I did. So now I am going to tag some people. And um, this tag has been around for a little while. So I apologize if you've already dropped a book. <laughs> I apologize if you've already done it. I don't think you have, but I'm going to. And I'm sticking, of course, with three people to tag. I'm gonna tag Sue, Sue Jackson, because I always tag her. <laughs> She's gonna get so sick of being tagged by me. Um, Aaron and Aaron Go Live. We have very similar reading tastes, so I'm interested to see what her take on this is. And Maria Andrea at Books and Bocadillos, who also, we also have similar tastes. And we have uh, read some books together that I'd say were a little adventurous. I think Death Comes for the Archbishop is a little bit adventurous. It's a very calm thing, but they're going out into the unknown. So those are my three tags. But if you have not done this before and you want to, please do and consider yourself tagged and tag me back so I can see your video. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, like, subscribe, join my Discord, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.